Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a general message. See what the energy is like for you guys. Now this is a general message. It may not resonate for everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate, then it's not your message. Anybody interested in a personal reading? My information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into this for sign of Virgo. What is the energy here, Spirit? Show me. For Virgo. I do you hope that everybody is well, Virgos? All right, Spirit, give me a card. What's the energy here? Show me. First card out is clear the fog. Now there's two people in this card. So Virgos, take it out, it resonates, whichever way it goes, okay? There could be somebody wanting to come towards you, wanting to bring some kind of clarity, maybe wanting to have a conversation, maybe wanting to see where things stand, or you to them. So Spirit, what is clear the fog? Have fun. Someone who misses you, Virgo. Someone who misses your energy. Someone who misses the good times. And show me going forward. Ah, interesting how it wanted to land over there, but we'll see going forward. Now the fog is clear. Now these two people, they ain't just waving at each other. Now they're standing on top of the world, holding hands. Just them two against the world. Okay, we'll see. Give me another card. What is turn on the light? Something is clear now. Not the Empress. <laughs> this is my Empress card in this deck. Give yourself the best. So is it clear to someone that you are the Empress or the Emperor? You know, I know I have my masculines in here. Or is it just clear to someone that you are the one for them? So why clear the flog? Uh, the flog? <laughs> clear the flog. <laughs> why clear the fog? What was the issue here, Spirit? What was the blockage between the two? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what was the blockage between the two? Do you know what? I don't know what is wrong with my tongue today. <laughs> why does feel so tongue-tied? Oh, is that why? Is somebody nervous? Oh, let me find out. Someone wants to tell the truth, Virgo. So the, the blockage here in the past could have been some lies. Or maybe somebody just wasn't being clear and direct. But somebody wants to speak with love. I'm hearing, who sings that? Annoying. <laughs> I'm hearing I'll take you away to a place. Does he say, or is it a she? I don't know. Something like, um, to a place like paradise? Look at this, rise and shine. Oh my goodness. Hmm, but why the stop and the shock? Rise and shine. But let's see what this is about, Virgo. So pick up the deck, we have the Six of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody wants to move to Karma Waters here. The Wheel of Fortune. Nothing happens before it's time. 
And look at there she is, the Empress. <laughs> Nothing happens before it's time, Virgo. The star, wow. Some of you lot in the spotlight, maybe. Or maybe you just bring a lot of healing energy to this person. Or maybe you are a healer, right? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. But you have the Two of Swords. So, clear the fog and have fun. What is this energy here? For the sign of Virgo. What is the message? Thank you, Spirit, show me. So we have the chariot, yes, somebody wanting to come towards you, cancer energy here. And there's that ace of pentacles. So again, this would be someone who's being divinely guided towards you here, okay? Now the eight of pentacles talks about having something solid, right? Something tangible, um, something that can grow. It's almost like I'm hearing the opportunities are endless. Show me more with this charity and, the, okay, thank you spirit. The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. And I'm hearing, oh, happy days. Now, with that, oh, happy days and the have fun, this could just be someone who is reminiscing, right? Like I said, about the good times here. But it's almost like with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords here, it's almost like this person was heartbroken for some of you when you walked away. But if you did walk away, Virgos, it would say to me that because you felt like you wasn't being emotionally fulfilled here. Ace of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. The Emperor. <laughs> so that is Aries and Taurus energy for some of you, maybe. But this is about somebody taking control. We saw that Empress twice, right? This is about somebody saying, okay, damn, do you know what? If I'm going to be with the Virgo, i got to match them where they are. This is also an energy I feel like someone who has bossed up, right? Someone here may have made some changes here in their life. Give me one on this emperor. Yeah, because look at that, the four of cups. And they may have only learned this lesson once you walked away, right? Once they felt like they missed an opportunity. Or well, they feel like they are missing an opportunity here with you. Ooh, two of cups, yeah. King of cups. So someone's definitely in their emotions and they haven't, ex they haven't said this to you. They haven't expressed how they felt. They've kind of kept this to themselves. And maybe that's what made them miss this opportunity. And now this is someone who's wanting to rush back in now and say, hey, hold on. I've got something to say. I want to speak with love. But some of you, you have this person blocked. Or they can't get hold of you. Um, maybe some of you change phone numbers or something like that. Because I'm hearing, hey, how you doing? And I'm hearing, sorry, you can't get through. Would you leave your name and your number and I'll get back to you? So that sounds like an answering machine, right? What is the tell the truth here? And speak with love. The Knight of Wands. Maybe this person was a player. Maybe this person didn't want to commit. Maybe this person was very in and out. Maybe this person like to explore their options. I'm hearing, I mean, I'm hearing this person like to do a lot. Maybe with a lot of people. I don't know. Take it that resonates. What is this Knight of Wands? And this Knight of Wands could also be, you know, um. Let's see. What is this Knight of Wands energy? Thank you, Spirit. The World Card. I... Okay. Could this be someone who's putting an end to their player ways? <laughs> well, I guess the Hierophant. Could this be someone who wants to commit to this situation? The Six of Pentacles. Could this be someone who wants to give an equal give and take? Okay. Show me more. What is the Knight of Wands in the World Card? <laughs> the Eight of Well, this is a good thing, really. You know, don't worry about me laughing. <laughs> this is a good thing.
it kind of makes me feel like with the eight of cups with all the eight cups behind him and the mole <laughs> it kind of makes me feel like hey this person said you know what i'm done with all eight of those options <laughs> now i'm gonna go find my wish fulfillment right the one but they already found you virgo it just again Let's see. Six of Pentacles is still turning over. Okay. Now, the Six of Pentacles can also sometimes talk about somebody giving to more than one person, right? Um, again, with the World card, it could be saying, hey, maybe I'm done giving to other people. Maybe this is someone who wants to balance the scales. Give me one more on this situation. Tell the truth. The sun card, things being exposed. But this is also somebody realizing their happiness, where their happiness lies, or who their happiness lies with. But then it may also, do you know what I'm also seeing here? There may also have been something exposed, maybe about a fire sign may have to do with money it's just kind of what i'm seeing the knight of wands the sun and the six of pentacles something being illuminated and it's almost like because something is illuminated someone walks away and something ends what is turn on the light and give yourself the best coming out sideways we have the queen of cups so for some of you, you are very loving and caring towards this person here. I mean, for some of you, there could have been um, a water sign that maybe was blocking this situation. The Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, take out it resonates. What is the Queen of Cups here? The Three of Swords. Show me more. Now, for some of you, also what I'm hearing here is the Queen of Cups coming out sideways. The blockage here could be that maybe, like I said, if this person broke your heart here, maybe you may be a little bit cautious to kind of go back to this person or to speak to this person or to let this person back in, right? Queen of Cups. What is the message here for Virgos? The Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups talks about confusion and it talks about illusion here. Maybe this person, maybe you feel like, hey, no, I don't want to go out to that person. You know, when I was with them before, they was feeding me an illusion, right? They were just around and they just confused me. They just broke my heart. They had other options. But again, you know, the Seven of Cups with the cup that the Queen has is the Eight of Cups again. Maybe you are afraid that this person, if you let them back in, that they will walk away again. For some of you, maybe you don't even feel the same for this person. It's going to be different for different people if it resonates. What is the Three of Swords? The Strength card. Leo Energy. You see, the, the reason why some of you are going to be real cautious here with whoever this is, is because it took a lot for you to get back on your feet. It took a lot for you to pull back and um, regain your strength from that three of swords, right? From feeling heartbroken. It took a lot for some of you to get over that pain. Yeah, look, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And now some of you are in this position. It's almost like you ain't going to want to kind of jeopardize that. And that's understandable. But I always kind of feel like I want to push out the message there, Virgos, of even if you kind of say to yourself, no, no way would I ever. Forgiveness is always needed in a situation. So for some of you, even if you heard this person out, you don't have to listen to me, right? You you know your situation better than I do. Some situations I almost want to say is unforgivable, but it's what I'm hearing. But <laughs> feels like a difficult one. Let's see. Give me one more. 
or two more thank you spirit so we have the um queen of pentacles coming out here oh and the empress in the reverse i don't know if i was meant to take that in the reverse i'm gonna put it in the upright so i already have the empress out here I mean, maybe maybe this person didn't see your worth in the past or maybe they got you to that position where you didn't see your worth in the past, right? But I feel like a lot of you have turned yourself around, especially with that Queen of Pentacles coming in the up, right? It's like you grounded yourself again. Now, I could also be taking this as maybe there's... Do I want to say... <laughs> Hmm. Some of you, this person may be leaving someone behind. For some of you, there may have been a mother figure that interfered with this situation. Or a baby mother. So I'm going to leave the Empress in the reverse. That's how, that's how I picked it up. Fair is fair. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. With the Six of Wands and the High Priestess and the Ten of Wands. See, Beggars, I don't know if what this person may be wanting to come towards you and tell you if it's something that you already know or something that you already had an inkling about. Some of you are very intuitive here. High Priestess and Six of Wands. Okay. What is the advice for Virgos in this situation? Six of Wands at the bottom of this deck again. Oh, with the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, for some of you, you know, you may get victory in this situation. Turn on the light, right? You see them two people standing on that hilltop? Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know. Oh, the High Priest is again and the Ace of Wands. Unless this person, like I said, that high priestess could just be representing that, you know, this person may just be harboring secret feelings for you. So, Spirit, give me a card for my Virgos for advice. Now, it's just advice. Take it, leave it, Virgos, okay? Always use your discernment because this is a general message and the outcome is not going to be for all. You had not the right time. So maybe it wasn't the right time in the past here. Tell the truth. Look at that. Big happy changes. And turn on the light. Give yourself the best. If you believe. Again, up to you. I always say to you, like, tarot, tarot is just a tool. All right, give me some messages from my Virgos from this deck. Oh, why do I always be falling on the floor? Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. So the first one coming out, we have Isaiah. It says, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. It says, I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Oh, some of you may go on to have a baby with this person, but... um. Spirit says you're protected here, you know. One more. You have, what's her name? Safina. It says, I am the, whoa, what did I just say? It says, I am the angel of families. It says, a happy change or addition is coming to your family. Okay. Definitely, you know, if somebody's wanting to expand their family if somebody here wants to have a child it definitely looks like it's on the cards for someone anything else on this deck for my virgos before we go that's um a lot thank you i feel like for some of you whoever this is you may have taught them something in a good way i wish they would not Oh my goodness. All right, what did we get? Oh, look at this. Somebody pregnant? 
<laughs> it says your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Now, when I mean, when, when they say your children on earth and in heaven, I'm not necessarily getting the energy of someone who has lost a child. Now, it could be in my condolences if that is the case. But I'm giving I'm getting more the energy of a child that is up in heaven, looking down, saying, I wish my parents would hurry up and get together. It's almost like a child waiting to be born. So for some of you, this situation is almost like um, fated. One more. One more. And then we'll end this week. Thank you, Spirit. And my favorite, Archangel Michael. He says, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Fated. So Virgos, that is what I have for you for a general message. If anything resonated with you, guys, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light.